modern American teacher reflects upon the loss of the password. Held hostage at the eight-hour education meeting, I am struck by the thought that I must have moved to Stalinist Russia, unbeknownst to myself, <laughs> an occurrence, no doubt, that happened just the other day and in broad daylight. The lack of notification one's nation requires is not so mysterious, really. Citizens with poor memories are easily manipulated, and not many of us have the strength to face the half-life of our poor choices and edicts proclaimed and decreed for the sake of children, TM. <laughs> one's heart so longs to return to the right place, the right place. Please, where is that little wooden door we had previously installed? That tiny little archway with the sturdy keystone built expressly to crack into the light of the secret passage. I seem to remember another kind of world, don't you? A warm and inviting elfin universe filled with witty improvised songs, homemade raspberry cookies, and talkative cats. <laughs> Cobblers of all types are forever happily at work there, constructing lives of joy and imagination as they invent their subtle and complex villages. They are so wondrous in their jaunty hand-knit stocking hats, so facile with sound play and metaphor. Oh, right. I'm being instructed that I am mistaken about the place where genius takes shape. As the meeting room burns back into my consciousness, I become aware that I'm being told now what to hold true. For eight hours, we talk of targets and cut points, how to conduct ourselves with a greater and greater sense of urgency the need for everyone there to share in the use of this common language. We are so easily snared, you and I. Again, this is no mystery as we now lack the courage of our former convictions. Yep. Oh, my heart. Oh, heart. What is that sound tapping forth from behind that wall?